What is going on, members of the barrio? It's John coming to you from Ajijic, which is on Lake Chapala, the largest freshwater lake in all of Mexico. And I have found out one of the most popular retirement destinations in the world for Americans, Canadians, and British people. I've been so curious about this place. I wanna find out exactly what it is about this lake that draws people from all over the world to spend time here. And we are at an awesome hotel right now called Real de Chapala. It had the highest rankings on TripAdvisor. That's the reason I chose it. And before we head to town, I wanna to show you guys around a little bit and Adriana is gonna be giving you a tour of the room. All right, Adriana, you're gonna be the tour guide. Are you excited to explore Lake Chapala? Of course, it looks so beautiful, guys. Let me show you. And give you a tour. This is our room which has beautiful light and it has two full-size bed which is good because John can sleep there and I can sleep there it has this table where we can work it has this lazy guy here I love this couch because I like to sit on my computer but I don't like to be on the bed so I love it it's really cool like tote here and my favorite part, we have this view. That blue part you see there is the lake, which looks beautiful. We have the pool, which is warm, so we might jump later. And we are gonna show you more about this hotel. All right, let's go, guys. Heck of a poolside view, I must say. like 71 degrees right now and I found it amusing that when we checked in here all the hotel staff was wearing heavy jackets and uh, all of the guests at the hotel were wearing short sleeves. I could even go for short sleeves right now. All right, now that I've shown you guys around the hotel a little bit, it's about a 15 minute walk to the Malecon, to the heart of Ajijic. I really want to explore this area so we're gonna at least walk there, maybe take an Uber back. Let's enjoy this walk. Instead of an Uber, we can pay the horses $5 to go to town. You want to do it? No. My first impressions as we get closer to the town is that everything is very well manicured. This is a very uh, well put together town. I can see immediately. It's, it's pretty beautiful so far. I'm, I'm liking all the colors. Very calm. I am starting to dig this hippie-ish vibe of this town. Very, very neat. A lot of cool uh, murals on the street walls. You know you are in, Ameri in an American town? It's a front. <laughs> I've seen breakfast before in some Mexican towns, but I never saw that. And we have reached the fabled Malecon here, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Beautiful. And here's John flying baby drone in that direction. Bye bye, baby drone. I think we need to do guys we need to find a resident here who is not from Mexico and let's hear somebody's opinion on why a is this amazing spot to retire there are many reasons why people come here and want to stay here number one the weather the weather is very very constant and it's certainly uh, not like the weather in, in Canada yeah. another reason is the cost of living yeah. is quite cheap here so if you're on a, a retired income um, you can live very well. The third reason is the medical. Uh, the medical is very good here. A lot of the doctors have been trained in uh, the US or Europe. Um, so they're very, very qualified in a hotel. Well, the hospitals are like hotels. Okay. Um, 
It's a very friendly uh, environment down here. There's lots of friends that you can make, lots of activities, lots of fundraisers. You could be busy every night of the week if you want to be. All right, thank you so much for You're helping me welcome. out with that. That interview actually was unplanned. I was looking for somebody. Uh, Sylvia just happened to be sitting on the Molly I asked her if she would talk to us about the experience of being retired here. I thought her answers were so interesting to me because I'm living in Mexico for four months as a digital nomad. So there are some similarities, I suppose, between being a retired person in Mexico and being someone who just works remotely here. But something she told me off camera that really resonated with me and so when you come to Mexico as a foreigner, especially as someone from the United States or Canada, you are used to service being super quick, you're used to everything being exactly the way you want it back home, but here the pace of life is much slower and she said there's people that get used to it and there's people that don't get used to it. And after living in Mexico now close to three months, I'm definitely getting used to it. And in some ways, I think it's actually healthier because you have to slow down your pace of life to be happy. This is the biggest antique shop I've ever been to before. It just keeps going. Cuidado la cabeza, esta suelta. I think it means the head's cut off. Guys, I didn't break this. He came like this. For $90, you can have a Japanese-made radio. That store was called Bazaar Barbara, and it is quite bizarre, all the things they have in there. Not, not to play on words. That place is really, really cool. Check them out when you come to Ahihik. We just randomly stumbled in. Now we're gonna show you the main square, which I've heard is quite pretty. <laughs> Definitely a lot more culture from the USA and Canada and some of these shops. We just went to that really cool hot dog place which is themed like a shack and the owner even told me that the reason that place exists is for the foreigners to feel more at home. And he said 90% of his customers are not from Mexico. Check this place out. Oh, and we got Lake Burgers. Now you go home? I feel at home now, yes. Something that I noticed here in it's quite nice and I don't know it makes me feel like happy or excited so this is a very Mexican square but even though you see all these Americans or Canadians walking around like this is their home so it's a contrast like I don't know I like it it's interesting I, I was thinking the exact same thing because this is your typical square in a Mexican city all around us with vendors but it's populated by a lot of expats here which is really unique I've been absolutely blown away by the cool street art in this city. This school which has skulls on the outside and then across we have a church. Members of the barrio, honestly, I did not want to like a hihik. I hadn't really done much research on it. I thought it would be super touristy like Cancun. I know there are a ton of retired Americans, Canadians, British people living here, but I think they're onto something, seriously. All the people I saw, I interacted with, I walked by in this town, they looked super happy, super relaxed. I feel like they're trying to become a, a greater part of the community here. That lady Sylvia was telling me that uh, she's involved in a lot of volunteer things and the other people here are as well. So uh, if you're watching this video and you're of a retirement age, maybe you could consider Mexico. And who knows, maybe in 30 or 40 years, I could be retired <laughs> to a spot like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, all of the footage from Ahihik. We've got one more episode coming up from Lake Chapala, so make sure to check that one out as well when it comes out. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are new here. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.